now we are going to learn cross section of medulla oblongata at the level of pyramidal decussation this is the cross section of medulla oblongata transverse section at the level of pyramidal decussation which occurs at the caudal part of medulla oblongata that is the lower part okay so pyramidal or great motor decussation occur at the caudal part of medulla oblongata 75% of fiber crosses where is the 25% comes without crossing and form the anterior corticospinal tract where is the and uh, the lateral corticospinal tract or cross pyramidal tract this is formed by the crossing okay so this is the cross section we have to make this diagram just like the spinal cord but what is the difference there is bulging of or you can say protrusion of the gray matter inside the funiculus or white matter from the posterior aspect this is the anterior aspect and this is the posterior aspect this is anterior longitudinal fissa and this is the posterior median sulcus and this is anterior horn this is posterior horn and from the posterior aspect there is bulging or uh, protrusion of gray matter inside the white matter and the medial these two are medial nucleus gracilis and the lateral to this blue one is the nucleus cuneatus c for cuneatus and c for cute face so cute face lies on the exterior aspect and the nucleus gracilis that is the graceful leg it should and this is the posteriormost aspect of the posterior horn and it convert into the tract of uh, tract and nucleus of the trigeminal and this is the landing of the lateral corticospinal tract both side on the lateral funiculus so corticospinal tract coming ventrally and then goes laterally due to this anterior to lateral movement okay and crossing an anterior and lateral movement this anterior horn the part of the anterior horn is resected out anteriorly and form the supraspinal nucleus of c1 okay and the spinal nucleus of the accessory nerve and supraspinal nucleus of c1 okay this part of the anterior horn forms supraspinal nucleus of c1 and a spinal nucleus of accessory nerve and here the white fiber landing into the corticospinal tract so there is mixing of white and gray matter which leads to the formation of reticular formation of this area okay and this is same as that of the spinal cord that is the Uh, anterior spinocerebellar tract and the posterior spinocerebellar tract and this is lateral spinothalamic tract okay so this green one these are the nucleus gracilis about to form due to the bulging out and uh, bulging out insinuation of the posterior gray matter into the posterior funiculus and this blue one these these two these are the nucleus cuneatus okay this orange one this is the spinal nucleus these two spinal nucleus and tract of trigeminal from the posterior most part of the posterior horn and this the crossing this thing yeah the mixture of white and gray matter resulting into the reticular formation of that reason anterior horn here yeah, this pink one the anterior horn separate by the landing of corticospinal tract from anterior to lateral aspect form a spinal nucleus of accessory nerve and supraspinal nucleus of c1 
and the rest of the structure is same as that of the spinal cord that is the anterior spinocerebellar posterior spinocerebellar and anterior lateral spinothalamic tract so we have to make this diagram and color it and just mention what this structure stands for thank you